हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन केमिस्ट्री चैनल एंड यू आर वाचिंग डीएमजी केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस एंड माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेंद्र गुलेरिया एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन केमिस्ट्री एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इंटीग्रल इंथालपीज ऑफ सोल्यूशन एंड डायल्यूशन एंड आई विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस द इंथालपी ऑफ सोल्यूशन एट इनफाइनाइट डायल्यूशन बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल दैन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑल्सो लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियोज सो फ्रेंड्स when a solute is dissolved in a solvent then heat may be evolved or absorbed for example when potassium chloride is dissolved in water heat is absorbed and when hcl or nawh is dissolved in water then heat is evolved and the actual amount of heat evolved per mole of the solute depends upon the final concentration of the solution okay so now let us define the integral enthalpy of solution so the enthalpy change when one mole of a solute is dissolved in definite number of moles of solvent is called as total or integral enthalpy of solution examples are so here in first example one mole of potassium chloride is dissolved in 20 moles of water and in this case heat is absorbed and integral enthalpy of this solution that is delta h is equal to plus 17.6 kJ per mole okay and in second example one mole of hcl is dissolved in 100 moles of water and here heat is evolved and integral enthalpy of this solution or delta h is equal to minus 72.59 kJ per mole okay so friends whenever this integral enthalpy of solution is reported then the number of moles of solvent required to dissolve one mole of solute must be indicated okay as we have indicated here that is one mole of kcl has been dissolved in 20 moles of water okay and here one mole of hcl uh, is dissolved in 100 moles of waters so this indication is must for the integral enthalpy of solution so now let us define this integral enthalpy of dilution the enthalpy change when a solution from one specified concentration is diluted to some other specified concentration is called as integral enthalpy of dilution so now let us understand it with an example so here i have considered two solutions in first solution i have dissolved 1 mole of hcl in 10 moles of water and integral enthalpy of this solution or delta h is equal to minus 68 kJ okay and in second solution uh, i have dissolved 1 mole of hcl uh, in 50 moles of water and the integral enthalpy of this solution or delta h is equal to minus 72 kJ okay so uh, here we have solution of one specified concentration and this is the solution of other specified concentration now i want to dilute this solution that is solution 1 to this concentration okay and to do this i have to increase the number of moles of water in first solution up to 50 and to achieve this i have to add 40 mole moles of water in solution number 1 that is i have to add 40 more moles of water to this solution okay and when i will add 40 more moles of water in it then some more heat will be evolved okay and that additional amount of heat which is evolved is called as integral enthalpy of dilution and in this example we will obtain 4 kJ more heat because when we dissolve one mole of hcl in 50 moles of water okay then the heat evolved is minus 72 kJ understood so now here uh, we have already received 68 kJ heats by dissolving one mole of hcl in 10 moles of water and when i will add 40 moles of uh, water then we will get 4 kJ more heat so that the total heat evolved is equal to 72 so this 4 kJ heat which we are getting after dilution is called as integral enthalpy of dilution and the integral enthalpy of dilution can be calculated simply by subtracting 
द इंटीग्रल इंथैल्पी ऑफ सोल्यूशन और इंटीग्रल इंथैल्पी ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम द इंटीग्रल इंथैल्पी ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन दैट इज माइनस सेवेंटी टू माइनस माइनस सिक्सटी एट एंड इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवेंटी टू प्लस सिक्सटी एट इक्वल टू माइनस फोर किलो जू वेरी सिंपल ओके सो द इंटीग्रल इंथैल्पी ऑफ डायल्यूशन इज सिंपली द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू वैल्यूज ऑफ इंटीग्रल इंथैल्पी ऑफ सोल्यूशन ऑफ ए सबस्टॉन्स ओके सो दिस इज इंटीग्रल इंथैल्पी ऑफ डायल्यूशन सो ना आई वेट अस डिस्कस द इंथैल्पी ऑफ सोल्यूशन एट इनफाइनाइट डायल्यूशन सो फ्रेंड्स आई टोल्ड यू दैट वेन दिस इंटीग्रल इंथैल्पी ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज रिपोर्टेड देन द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ वाटर और द सॉलवेंट विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिजोल्व वन मोल ऑफ सोल्यूट मस्ट बी इंडिकेटेड एंड इफ नो सच इंडिकेशन इज मेड देन इट इज एज्यूम्ड दैट वन मोल ऑफ द सोल्यूट has been dissolved in infinitely large amount of the solvent understood so the enthalpy change in that case will be called as enthalpy of solution at infinite dilution okay so now let us define and let us write the definition of enthalpy of solution at infinite dilution so here we have enthalpy of solution at infinite dilution so it is the enthalpy change it is the the enthalpy change when one mole of the solute the solute is dissolved in such a large quantity of solvent quantity of solvent so that the further addition of solvent addition of solvent does not produce any more heat change heat change okay and examples are so in first example one mole of kcl solid is dissolved in very large quantity of solvent and for the infinite dilution symbol aqueous is written that is aq okay and this aq represent that the one mole of solute has been dissolved in infinitely large quantity of the solvent okay and we will have kcl aqueous and delta h of this reaction which will be the enthalpy of solution at infinite dilution and it is equal to plus 18.58 kJ okay and in second example one mole of copper sulfate is dissolved in very large quantity of solvent and delta h of this reaction is equal to minus 66.4 kJ okay so friends this uh, these values are virtually constant values because when we will add more solvent to a infinitely dilute solution okay then that addition of solvent will not produce any more heat change okay as we have here 
because in this case when we added 40 moles of additional water then some more heat is released but in this case when we will add more solvent more uh, no more heat will be evolved because the solution is already dilute or infinitely dilute understood so these uh, values will be the constant values and uh, constant for a particular solute in a particular solvent at a particular temperature and these are the maximum values of the enthalpies of solution so this was the enthalpy of solution at infinite dilutions okay so friends this is all about the integral enthalpies of solution and dilution and enthalpy of solution at infinite dilution and in my next video i am going to discuss the differential enthalpies of solution and dilution so please keep watching my videos like and share my videos and subscribe my channels thank you very much